Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are talking about one dimensional that is before and after the collision, the bodies are moving only in one dimension. Elastic collision, that means both momentum and kinetic energy is conserved in the case of a collision. Between the bodies of a one having a very heavy mass, who is in the state of motion? And is hitting a load lighter body that is in the state of rest. So the scenario is like this: there is a, a very big body, mass m1, moving with a velocity u1. There is a lighter body, mass m2, in the state of rest. There is a collision between these two. We want to know what happens after the collision that what is the velocity acquired by the first body heavy body and the second body that's a lighter body after one dimensional elastic collision to know this first of all we need to know the equations for the velocities of the bodies after one dimensional elastic collision we have derived it in the previous video lesson if you don't know this derivation please go through and uh, learn the derivation just for the uh, to avoid a repetition i am not doing that here Velocity of the first body after one dimensional elastic collision is like this m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 of u1 and 2m2 by m1 plus m2 of u2. This is the final velocity of a body after one dimensional elastic collision. Now putting our conditions. What is the condition? Second body is in the state of rest. M1 is very much greater than M2. This implies velocity of the first body after the one dimensional elastic collision is M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 of U1 plus 2m2 by m1 plus m2 of the second body is in the state of rest before the collision. So the second term becomes 0. So v1 will become simply m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 of u1. Again putting the condition m1 is very much greater than m2. When compared with M1, M2 can be ignored. This M2 has to be ignored. If I ignore that, I will get my equation as M1 minus M2 I have ignored by M1 plus again M2 I have ignored U1. M1 and M1 will cancel. As I have ignored, it is not going to be exactly equal. It is approximately equal to u1 itself. That means first body after one dimensional elastic collision, if it is too heavy when compared with the other body, it continues to move as if like nothing has affected it. It will have the same velocity even after the collision. Let us write about second body. So, for that, we need to remember that the velocity of the second body after one dimensional elastic collision. The equation is like this. Velocity of the second body is 2m1 by m1 plus m2 of u1 plus m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 of u2. If you don't know this derivation, please look for the previous video lesson. I have made a derivation. Now put the condition. The second body is in the state of rest. It implies your v2 will be 2m1 by m1 plus m2 of u1 and the second term becomes 0. And again put another condition that m1 is very much greater than m2 then let us ignore that uh, m2 term that is there in the denominator then v2 will be approximately 
two m one. M one plus m two is there there, but I have ignored that. I can cancel this m one and m one. So v two is roughly the second body after the one dimensional elastic collision is close to that of the double to that of the first elastic. Means what? What is happening after the collision? The m one will keep moving with the same velocity, whereas m two, who is initially in the state of rest, will acquire a velocity double the velocity of the first velocity. Simply to make you understand, say for example, there is a small cycle in the state of rest on a road. There is a heavy lorry moving with a certain velocity. This lorry moving with a velocity hits the cycle. Lorry continue to move as if like nothing happened, but cycle will get a velocity double the velocity of the lorry, and it travels in the same velocity of the lorry itself. This is how we can understand when a heavy body hits a lighter body in one-dimensional elastic collision. Heavy body is not affected, but the lighter body will get a velocity double to that of the heavier body, and travels in the same direction. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.